Hi, this is Vicki Sarajadini from the Department of Physics. Today I'd like to talk to you about comets. There's been a lot of interest in comets recently because of the comet Neowise, which is now visible in the Northern Hemisphere. And today I'd like to show you how you can make your own comet at home. So here's a picture, uh, a couple pictures of what comets look like. And to tell you a bit more about comets and why they have the features that they do, I'll turn this over to John Della Costa, a research assistant here at FAU. Thank you, Vicki. So comets have a few different components uh, to them. The first component is the nucleus. That's where the surface of the comet is and where all the gases come from. Uh, and those gases get released as the comet orbits the sun uh, and it the ice on the surface starts to sublimate and it creates a gaseous kind of halo around the nucleus called the coma. And as the uh, comet gets closer and closer to the sun in its orbit, that coma starts to turn into a tail because of the solar wind. The solar wind pushes out the coma into a tail. And that tail is always perpendicular to, uh, it's always pointing away from the sun as the comet orbits it. And now Vicky's gonna tell you a little bit more about how to make a comet at home. Okay, so to make a comet, uh, you need to have a few items and ingredients assembled. Um, the first thing you'll need is a garbage bag like this, or you can have any kind of garbage bag, piece of plastic, and a large bowl. These are gonna be the things for our comet mixture. So we put the garbage bag inside of your bowl like so. Now, what are the things that we use to make a comet? Well, one of the important uh, components is water. So I have about two cups of water here. I'm gonna just add that right to my bowl inside the plastic. Okay, so we've got the water in there. Other things that we find in comets, a, a common um, chemical found in comets is ammonia. So you can get some ammonia, you know, anywhere you get some cleaning supplies. And you're just gonna add like a dash of ammonia. All right, and comets also have in them some organic material. Here we're gonna use some corn syrup. And we're gonna add a dash of corn syrup. Maybe a little bit more. All right, <laughs> okay. Now, comets are often described as dirty snowballs. So there's dirt in comets. So we're gonna add about two teaspoons full of dirt. This is fun, okay. So now we're gonna mix this up and we're kind of just making some mud here. All right, okay. So now for the really fun part of the comet, the ice, right? So we said comets are very icy. They spend a lot of time in the outer parts of the solar system. So we're using dry ice to make our comet. Now you should always have gloves when you handle dry ice. When you get dry ice, you can get it at uh, grocery stores or at ice stores, places where you get ice. It'll come in a big chunk and you'll have to break it up with a hammer. So we've broken this ice up already into kind of fine pieces. So it's starting to freeze a bit. I'm just gonna kind of break it up a little bit more because you kind of want it to be as, as fine as possible. And now we're gonna add this to our water and dirt. We're adding about two cups of dry ice. Okay, so this is the fun part. Now we can see, uh, well, you can't maybe see this because there's a lot of, obviously a lot of um, sublimation happening here. So I'm just kind of mixing this all together and it's starting to freeze up. I can feel it freezing in my bowl right now. So I've got to get it pretty well mixed. That's getting there, okay. Takes a couple minutes more to get that all frozen up there. Okay, so now the important part of this comet is getting it to form into a big ball. So when, we, when you think about a real comet, an actual comet, uh, of course, it's a lot bigger than this. In fact, you'd have to multiply this recipe by about 300 trillion times to make the mass of an actual comet. And with that mass, gravity would help to hold the comet together. But I'm gonna use my hands to kind of press it together and make a, hopefully, a solid kind of comet. Okay, and I think we're just about there. So now, I can take this right out of my bag, and there you go. You can see the gases uh, sublimating off of the comet, much like they would as they approach the sun. Just put that right there for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little video and that you get a chance to make a comet um, at your home sometime soon. Thanks for listening.
Oh, jeez, that's this darn comet every 6,800 years.